over the last 24 hours getting us prepared for this and Lauren it has arrived. Oh yes it has our first alert weather days are fully in force right now. We have them in place from today through Friday for the cold snow and the wind. So let's start off with that cold DIA went from 42 degrees. It was an updated number 42 at the four o'clock down to five at uh, five o'clock. So that is a drastic temperature drop in just about an hour. We're now at five degrees for us two below in Greeley now down to two out at DIA. So this is wild to just watch these numbers fall so drastically. We don't often see such insane cold fronts work its way through and see these temperature drops. So it has been very interesting to watch. Zero in Ray, six below in Akron, eight right now in Lyman. With the windshield, DIA feels like 23 below. It feels like 25 below in Greeley. And our eastern plains feel anything from about 16 to 34 below. And it's so awful heading up to the north. You can even see the color contours go out as you head up into parts of on Nebraska and South Dakota and Wyoming. We don't really have a color contour for that 40 ish to 50 below the uh, temperature range. Let's take a look at our weather watcher, Ryan, Brian Ehrlich, who lives in Wellington, three below. He said it's snowing in his area in northern Colorado. We do have a wind chill warning from 8 o'clock tonight through 11 a.m. on Friday. It is still possible that we do get wind chill uh, as low as 55, maybe 60 below with the insane gusts that we're also expecting. Take a look at those temperatures tonight 15 below in Denver and Greeley, close to 20 below below for almost all of the eastern plains. Now this is just the actual temperature, not the wind chill. Again, the wind chill could possibly reach 55 below. A lot of the high country will be below zero, 22 below in Craig tonight and tomorrow, two below out of DIA. Downtown Denver will most likely get to about zero or one degree, but it certainly won't feel like that when you add in those really strong winds we're expecting. Eastern plains should feel uh, sub-zero as well and taking a look at our winds right now, really awful out there. From Sterling through Yuma, Lyman out to Burlington, wind about 30 to 50 ish miles an hour. It's windy from Greeley all the way down to Craig or over to Craig down towards Del Norte and Alamosa as well. So the wind will be persistent. It will stick with us. And that is why we have those wind chill warnings in effect because with that strong wind, it obviously feels a whole lot colder. Now we're starting to see that snow fill in a bit more just about uh, 30 minutes ago. It was mainly in that northern part of Weld County starting to sink down a little bit lower for us. So north side of Denver, you may be getting some light snow at this point and taking a little wider look. We have had some strong and heavy snow uh, in parts of Nebraska. So there's certainly a lot more on the way. Now, temperature or ter in terms of how much we're expecting, we could see about three to eight inches of snow for some of our western mountains, about two to four inches for areas like Craig and Meeker. It's the wind that really causes the impact with that snow. It's not necessarily that much snow, but again, you add in these strong winds, it certainly is awful out there. The Denver area, about one to three that goes to the north and out toward the eastern plains as well. There will be some banded snow, so some areas mainly to the north could pick up more than that. So don't be surprised if there's some areas that definitely overproduce or uh, get a little bit more than we are anticipating. Let's take a look at our future cast again in the next couple of hours. We just see that get a little bit lower. Denver uh, getting some snow maybe by seven o'clock tonight since it's already on the north side of town. And then we just continue to see that snow fill in overnight and through tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning, though, it's really cleared out, shifted to the southern part of the state, and then we clear out throughout the afternoon and into the evening. Now, two below on Thursday is our high, about zero here downtown, but 16 below as we head into Friday. Friday morning. So our overnight lows are still really awful Thursday into Friday. Almost everyone is about 20 ish to 15 to 20 ish below for the northeastern part of the state. But we do warm up in time for Christmas. It will be cold on Saturday morning for any last minute errands, but then we're in the 40s and low 50s.